Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing some more Sunbreak with the Hunting Horn. And we're going to take on a level 100 Anomaly Magnamolo. And here is our quest. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but uh... Is there a way to actually find Anomaly Monsters that you want? Like a more efficient way than just spamming level 100 monsters and just hoping that you get the ones you wanted? Because it would be very nice to be able to fight any of them if I need them. And also... If you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so. Only 4% of my audience is actually subscribed. It's free, and I would like to try and get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. This Magnamolo is actually pretty small by the looks. Should be fun. Do this right into a melody because he roars pretty quick. We want to get our performance up as soon as possible. Roll both of them in case he hits us. And... With Mag, you kind of want to be pretty careful. He can definitely mess you up very easily, if given the chance. There's an opening, because he's not enraged, he'll only do one swing. There's the enrage. Maybe get a knockdown here, if I keep up the aggression. No, not quite. Dash past us, and then stab. Perfect. Get a nice hit in here. This knockdown should be coming up pretty soon. I really wanted to armor through that, but I couldn't, unfortunately. Go to his right. We should be getting really close to a knockdown. Armor through that. We got a paralysis, which is unfortunate, because again, there should be a knockdown very shortly. So no doubt we'll knock it out of what we want. Wow, well, that's uh, it's not the worst timing. I've definitely had a lot worse. We're just going to slam him into both walls for some free damage. And then, yeah. Probably going to do an Earthshaker immediately. Because there is some solid damage. And we like solid damage. Also going to put him up here, which isn't the best spot, but it'll be nice for now. Going to have to perform immediately because we want to attack up for this. Get this up as well. Even though I said I was going to do an Earth Shaker, I decided against it because we should be getting breaks like so. One, two, spin into an Earth Shake for big damage while wow, we've still got Infernal as well. 870, roll to the right. Nice, they broke his stance. We will take those any day. Um, now with Mag, you kind of don't want to throw out your Earth Shakers too often, or any of your two wire bug abilities, because he will quite easily punish you, and if you do not have a wire bug, it'll be very bad. Just stay away from this, he'll spin twice. And that loop around tail there will definitely catch you off guard quite often, so you don't want to get caught by that. Roll away from that. Here comes the spins again. Gonna position over here. That still almost hit me. Bloody hell, mate. I should have been hit by that, but I didn't, so I will take it. That's shaken now. Oh, it actually worked out. Because he was gonna do his big um, explosion thing, which wouldn't have hit us because we were in front of him. But that works as well. That is a lovely time for that to come up. Do this into an Infernal for damage, because we don't have an Earthshaker anymore. Beautiful stuff. Get some free hits in. Another Stagger. Just do a left swing there, because he's going to do this. His cord's broken, stay to the right of him. Easy enough. Get one more swing in. I should have rolled away, but I didn't. That ledge could have definitely gotten us killed. I'm just going to flash. We missed. We got a roll. But that's okay. Stay on the right side of him. According to his arms, that is. Armor through this one. Because it prevented a tiny bit of damage we would have taken. Not so much because it would beat the armor. Um, I'm actually going to try and 
pop this under him if I can. Right here. We'll see in a second. Now. Oh, you bastard. Is that going to go off any day now? Wow, that had a long time left, apparently. But that's alright. We got a mount coming up as well. Um, we're going to go try grab this wire bug first so we can do some extra damage. As well as the red boy, which I did not pass, but I thought I did. Means is a pretty good mount, so we should get some very nice value out of this. Just immediately do an attack. Armor through that. Another attack. Recover our wire bugs. And dash into this. It didn't do it. That's alright though. Do the back heavy now. Because he's knocked down for more damage. And we're going to do a attack up melody as soon as we can. Right now. And then we'll chase him down. And Earthshaker. Because we don't have time for anything else really. Perfect. Wow, that was lucky. I will take that. Get a trio ready, because why not? Into an Earthshaker. This is very risky, but I have a third wire bug, so I'm not too worried if I get hit. And we've got an Infernal now for the next knockdown, or paralysis. One more spin. There we go. Get one hit. The fake. Can get a couple hits in here if it was fast enough, but we weren't. His slow weapons are very fun. He's not tired, so he'll just do two. Well, he is tired, so he'll only do two. My apologies. Armor through this. Don't go in yet because the tail. Yep. Lovely free damage. Love to see that. Get a nice spin on. We're going to eat this hit. Which is fine. Didn't even proc. Oh, it did proc Moxie, unfortunate. But that's alright. We'll get it all back by eating some meat. Right side of him. Just get a hit in here. Maybe two. Armor through that. Even though he'll grab us. Again, we just wanted to reduce the damage he did. Always go away with that because he will follow you if you go in a normal direction. Don't go in, there's clouds. He's very likely to pop here because we haven't been able to hit him too much. I should have gone in, but I was hesitant. We are not having a good run here. This is when we should flash him because we're not getting any hits in anymore. And the flash missed. Horrible timing. Do it right now. Knock him out of the air, maybe. No. That's alright. All our flashes are going to waste, which kind of sucks. Because we would definitely like to lock him down here soon. There we go. And he also popped. So he's going to blow up very shortly here. Unless we can do enough damage. Which we're probably not, because I don't like to follow the pips if I can help it. It's going to pop right now, probably. Dash into an attack. There's clouds. And he'll pop now. Go on, buddy. I'm not falling for it. There it is. Get a free hit in here. Did the fake out, which is a bit annoying. Because any of other attack there, we would have gotten the hit in. Okay, that'll work. We definitely need to be trying to get the game, or the uh, ball back in our park, because we haven't been able to hit him too much since we moved to this zone. And you can see that proof because we've got another mount. Um, we're going to take him to Somnicanth. Should be able to just run straight in and launch. Perfect. Lovely stuff. We're going to do... I think it was forward heavies is a good one with Somna. No, it was the back one we want. Yeah, that's the one. Recover so we can get it back. 
and do two forward heavies. Maybe three. Perfect. Alright, we've got an Infernal and a Earthshaker ready if we want it. I might do an Infernal because we should get another knockdown here right now. Perfect. We can get one hit into this. Hopefully Somnicanth stays near. Which she did. I appreciate you. Again, we're going to be quite careful because we still have not really done a whole lot to slow down Mr. Magnamolo here. This is definitely when you would use um, traps as well because not having the monster under control anymore is quite painful to deal with and having a trap should set you up for success come again would be very nice to have them right now but I usually don't carry them just for practice sake armor through this one and we killed it I will take it well everybody that was a level 100 magnamolo with the hunting horn as always thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one